Hey guys, this is Noisy Boy 305, bringing it to you loud and proud. Welcome to part 51 of my walkthrough of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. And yep, this is it. This is the one boss in all the DLCs, actually the second boss, that I've been like, holy fuck, this isn't gonna go well. So instead of going through and killing the guys, I'm just gonna run through this place. Fuck it. I just can't be fucked fighting these dudes right now. Hopefully they don't follow me. One through here, one through there. And you go to this place here. This is where we go to. Light this bonfire. And then we take on this guy. If he wants to rock and roll. Well, he'll do. Hopefully that's all they came. Rest up here. Get my stuff back. Oh, item. Small blue blur. Jump in the coffin and let's have a ride. So I think it's uh out on all the DLCs, I think it was the Ivory King. And this boss was the one that I was worried about the most. Ivory King just because his whole... All those other knights were there and stuff like that. And this one, well... Well, let's just have a look. The friggin' outskirts. A fucking outskirts, I should say. Yes, and as you can see, there's just a mad storm kicking around. It comes, comes and goes. And when it comes, you can't see crap. So... I'm just gonna wait for this to pass and run to my next objective. When it passes, it's the only time you can really go places, so... Oh, where is it? I think... Oh, there. As you can see, just past those is another one. Looks like there's a couple of summon signs here. Three, actually. Manhunter O'Hara. And who's this? Head of Vengal. Nice. I think I'll just take all three of them. But first I'll prepare for what's going on. Um, I'll probably take all of this stuff. Probably not. This might take uh, my King Shield instead. Um. Yeah, I might just take that for now. Oh, I just bring these guys out, damn it. Bees fever. Oh, summon you. Summon you. I didn't realize you could summon three. I knew you could summon two. And I know we gotta go that way. Might just take my shield out for this one. Wait for the storm to pass. Make my way to the structures. There's three of them, I think. And you always you get intercepted by those damn bloody horse things. So I didn't realize I could do three, so this might actually. Or well, I hope they uh, survive, actually. Dried root. Pretty sure there's nothing else here. Rahat. 
then our next one is in that direction, I know that much, and we'll probably get intercepted by that bloody horse thing. Also, as you can see, there's actually guys there. Even if you do get attacked, I just suggest going straight to the structure anyway. As you can see, they're probably fighting now. But like I said before, I just suggest going straight to it. You can fight them if you want. But you just, uh... Put them down the right bloody way. I can't see a fucking thing. Oh, that was almost there. As you can see, he is coming, but at least you know. Oh, fuck. I suggest doing this using the lock stone just to try and get all you guys all get them all healed up and finally the next structure but oh, you can barely see your hand in front of your face so hopefully if I can keep all three of these guys alive Like I said before, you just get too confused if you fight them. You can, if you know your way through here, but like I was just saying before, I don't know my way through here, so I would not have a clue where to go if I got lost. So like I said, bring them to the structure. Oh. The hell is he flying? Human Fs. Now there's actually a path we want to go down there too. So we'll wait for the storm to kick over. Oh, there's a guy out there, see that? I'm not doing too bad, I've got all three guys in. I wish I had a group heal, like a miracle or something. It's actually a ring we want to get. I'm guessing if I can just run out straight to it and see just like there's a hole in front of you there's actually a ring we want to get 
Hopefully if I can get there in time. But I've got three summon signs right now, but that doesn't mean they're all gonna survive. Basically because there's a jump coming up here, well not a jump, a drop. I don't think there's anything else there, but they seem to die when they go onto the bridge, so that's my main concern that all three of them just die on the bridge and now I'm screwed. So let's get them all down here to start with. Hopefully they've fixed their tracking to a certain degree. Where's Vengal? I'll need him. He'll probably be my uh, my guy. Alright, let's go. Hopefully if they just follow me in a straight line and not fall here. This is the path, look how skinny that is. That's the path I was worried about the most. Like even I'll probably fall down that. Don't fall off, please. Nice. And this is the boss fight. So we'll prepare for this. Drop, drop, drop. Um, probably keep all three of those. I might just drop the s talk for now, just to drop my weight a little bit. Oh no, I might need it. Uh, now I've got that. I'll keep the shield on too. Alright guys, let's go. Whew, rock and roll guys. Stay behind. He's pretty much just like the up fight, really. Oh, what? Well. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, could have been coming in me. My chance. Oh. Get him, Vengar. This is just like what is in my force. Oh, if I can just hit him. Oh. Oh shit, don't look at me. Oh, what? Oh! Oh shit. Oh, now he's fucked. Now's the time when he's really dangerous. Oh, see, look at that. Oh, come on, one more hit, one more hit. Yes. Thanks, boys. 
you guys well. And I think it's time to pump this one up. Whew. That was one boss I was not looking forward to. Phew -wee. Okay. So as far as I know, there's no items around here, but I will check the place out just in case. Only one at a time required to head. From what I've been told, that in New Game Plus is a pain in the ass. I did it, they're off a wheel. I did it. Phew. Well, that flame weapon with my Mirakumi definitely made Zud and Zalan's life a lot harder than I thought it would. It's just like fighting Ava, just with two of them, and they're slightly stronger. So I guess it's not too bad. Uh, now that we have that done, that's pretty much the Iron Keep all wrapped up. Are the uh, the DLC wrapped up? So the old ivory, the ivory burnt king is all done. So I have all of the. Uh, have all of the the crowns. Now I'm going to make my way to the undead crypt. I think I have time. And we'll go over chat the vendor and see what he says. That did go a lot quicker than I thought. I thought you know I might die maybe once, maybe twice, even travelling to the bloody um, to the place I thought was going to be a pain in the ass, but obviously not. Put my stuff that I usually use on. Where's that stock? It's my lifeblood. Put you on. I think I might drop Vendrick Shield now. Go for the parry instead. Alright. Through here. Through this here. I think after this, I might go take on. Um, either the Ancient Dragon or the Dark Lurker. It'll probably be the Dark Lurker. Oh no, Ancient Dragon. That's gotta be done. Just run past these guys. I wouldn't worry about them. Let's go straight down to Vendrick and see what he says. Oh, and the Ashen missed that. Oh, I think... Pretty sure I was told to if you put on his crown something special happens, I think. Let's have a look, I could be wrong, I could be bullshit, but just have a quick look. So yeah, I remember the first time I fought the ancient dragon, that was a pain in the ass, so I don't even know how I'm gonna do it this time. Um let's talk to him. What do you see in the flames? Find the crowns and your own answers. The crowns hold the strength of lords from times long past. Seek adversity as befits you, seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. <laughs> seeker of fire, conqueror of the dark. See, what I don't get is why he wasn't able to do it. Obviously, he. Didn't have enough in him to do so. Um, he obviously gave up on himself, but at the same time, look at him. Look how awesome he looks. You think you could beat that? Seeker of fire, you know not the depth of dark within you. He is very. Uh, he is very. He looks just epic. The more flame you covered, flame. Seeker of fire, I see you've subdued another foul creature, one of the father of the abyss spawn, that confounded quintessence of humanity. The abyss once had form, but then dissipated, and yet traces of its existence endured. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread dark with no relent. My dear Chandra was one such fragment, a feeble, Tiny thing that thirsted for power more than any other. 
driven by insatiable lust for a worthy vessel. One day, fire will fade, and dark will become a curse. Men will be so pretty much every one of these frag dark fragments, like Nassandra, Nadalia, Alsala and all that kind of stuff, they attached themselves to a great king. Because they had power, they thought that they could uh, pretty much assimilate. So, it's pretty much his downfall. He thought he was the one. And there you go, so it does work. Very cool. The rest will follow. The Ash and Mist feeds. So that must be it, eh? Wow. Heat radiates from the crown. Oh, interesting. Oops. I wonder if that just means that you're one. Oh no. Do you get like another one or? No, they're all the same. Does it change there? Nope. Hmm. I must have to search that. Research that. I wonder if that changes the crowns in any way. Hmm, mirror hat. Huh. Cool. Oh, back to the stuff. Well, I think I might just leave it there, I think. Probably in the next episode we'll take on the... Well, we've got Ancient Dragon. That's probably more befitting to the storyline. So yeah, I'll take on the next... I'll take on the Ancient Dragon in the next one. So please, guys, if this did help... Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, stay noisy.